Tonight, growing community concern about safety at Parkdale Mall. Recent crimes there are scaring away some shoppers. KFDM's Angel San Juan reports that fear is leading some of them to boycott the mall. Katie Bowman is shopping at Parkdale Mall Tuesday afternoon with her six-month-old son, Frank. It's something she's doing a lot less these days. I'm worried about, you know, people attacking or coming up to you that you don't know. Uh, it's happened before to me, but it was before I had him, and so I'm especially afraid now with a small child. Bowman is not alone. Check out this Facebook page that's popped up in response to recent criminal incidents at the mall. It encourages Southeast Texans to boycott the shopping venue. Officer Haley Morrow says people should not be scared to come to Parkdale Mall. They just need to be vigilant. Unfortunately, crime is something that happens, and it happens everywhere. Uh, but when you do have a large area like a mall, a lot of stores, uh, what's going to make those numbers look bigger is the fact that there's more opportunity here. Taylor Neal is Beaumont's newest elected official, beating an incumbent council member this past Saturday. Part of his platform? Cracking down on the city's crime problem. Parkdale Mall is in his ward. He says police are doing their job. Now he's demanding accountability from the mall's ownership. It's time for Parkdale Mall to uh, step up to the plate and start bringing more security guards on and helping uh, with this being private property. Those guys have got to put some of their own resources uh, on the plate to help us. In Beaumont, Angel San Juan, 6 News Tonight. We did reach out to CBL Properties, the owner and manager of Parkdale Mall, for comment, but as of news time, we've not heard back from anyone.